Well, I, I wish I keep thinking I should uh, learn how to embellish this story a lot more because it's, it's not <laughs> much of a story. You know, I wasn't really paying that much attention to hockey other than I enjoyed playing and I wasn't thinking about a future in the NHL or anything like that. And I, um, as I say, made the Bantam team. I jumped a year. I played with Jerry Meehan. Remember Jerry Meehan? Played, yep. played with him on that Bantam team. Jumped a year. Played with Peter Mahovlich on the uh, midget team. And uh, Jerry Meehan again. And, you know, all of a sudden, out of the blue, Sam Pollock phoned our house. We weren't even aware that there was going to be a draft or that there was what the draft was. So Sammy Pollock from Montreal phoned our house, talked to my dad and said that we had a draft, and uh, we drafted Gary to the uh, Montreal Canadiens. And we thought, what is he talking about? Is this a prank call, or what's going on? So my dad's comment was, you must mean Pat Monaghan, my older brother, because he was two years older and a pretty good hockey player as well. So uh, Sam said, well, no, it's a 16-year-old draft, and and uh, we drafted Gary. So the next thing was they came over to the house, Scotty Bowman, and. Uh, Sammy Pollock came to our house and explained the various possibilities. I could have gone to Montreal to play with the Junior Canadians or, or Peter were to play with the Peets. And I actually got talked into by my dad to spend one more year at St. Mike's, at least get my grade 12 under my belt, and then go to Peterborough for grade 13. They had grade 13 back in those days, Joe. So it was a bit of a, a non-event in many respects. Uh, I, I want to say almost a fluke, but uh, there you have it. 